to Thy Kingdom Come World Ministries Sunday morning service. Um, Today is an exciting day, and I'm going to open that up in just a moment to you, but let's pray first. So, Father God, we just thank you for this day. We just thank you for your bountiful blessings. We thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you for your freedom. We thank you for your redemption and your restoration and your reconciliation and your renewing. We thank you for all that you are. We thank you for your shed blood that um, set us free from sin and bondage. We just thank you, Lord. We thank you for your every day, day to day, to just have a relationship with you, to be able to sit in your presence, Lord, just to sit in your presence, that presence that renews and washes us, Lord God, that just redeems us, that lets us know how much you love us. Yes, Lord. We thank you for that, that beautiful, beautiful place of glory, just yes. sitting in your presence. We love you, Lord. We honor you. Yes. We honor you. You are worthy, worthy to be praised, worthy to be honored, worthy to be glorified, yes. worthy to be blessed. Worthy to be exalted. Yes, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you. We give you this time. This is your time. This is your time. That people can see. That people can see what is done through you. What is accomplished through you. Yes, by your spirit, that we can be the hands and feet of Jesus, the called ones and the sent ones. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We, we thank you, and we just pray that you that the hearts are prepared to be yes, people. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I will do that. Mm-hmm. Yes, Lord. Let me be one. Yes. Let me be one. Yes. So we just thank you, Lord, for that. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You okay? Hallelujah. Okay. Okay. Can somebody say, or everybody say, set the captives free? Set the captives free. Set the captives free. Has anybody in this room been set free? By the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. Set free from all that we used to be. Right? From that place of sin and bondage. Right? That place that we, that place of darkness. That place where we just couldn't see. We couldn't get out of it. And we called upon the name of the Lord, and the Lord set us free. Hallelujah. And those chains were broken. We thank you. We thank you, Lord, for that. Today is a oh, before I before I before I get into that, I need to do something really quick. Okay. Um, just some preliminary things. Um, Deborah and David. Mary and Leo, and David, if you could just come up here real quick. I actually wanted to start that. We'll, we'll, we'll say set the campus for the first time. <laughs> okay. Okay. For... Uh, Everyone who, uh, some of you know us, some of you don't, but this is um, the people that God has put here at Thy Kingdom Come to, uh, to you know, be the hands and feet of Jesus. And um, I don't know if you can see online there, but we, this is, this is uh, Deacon David, Deacon Deborah. <laughs> they are missionaries. And they uh, are um, 
strength. They they are their strength in this ministry, and they're yes people. Okay, and they are servers. And to be leaders, we must serve. Okay, so I I thank God for them. I love them, and I wanted to just introduce you to Deacon David and Deborah. Okay. And uh, moving along, uh, this is uh, what I have called from the beginning of this relationship, uh, my right and left arm, uh, let's just say since Pastor Danny passed away. They have been, <laughs> sorry, they've been, they've been my right and left arm. They have, they have carried me when I couldn't. You know, they drug me, okay? <laughs> they drug me, but they kept yeah. me up, yeah. right? So this is uh, Deacon and uh, Mary and Leo, and I thank God for that. Them. Yeah. And they have uh, other things that they do. Um, they take care of my building for me. Um, Mary takes care of administrative things. And um, so we just, uh, I just thank God for them, too. Yeah. Muchly. <laughs> and uh, this is Elder David, because we have two Davids in the building. So yeah. this is Elder David. And Elder David, I know God has sent him here. Um, he has very uh, keen uh, discernment in spiritual eyes. He is my prayer warrior and intercessor. So I thank God for him. And I just wanted to introduce you to my team, my posse, <laughs> my people, my tribe. This is Thy Kingdom Come World Ministry Tribe. Okay. Amen. Out here on the mission field of Rice Street, the Rice Field, I call it. So I thank God for these people. So. Amen. 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 Back to set the captives free. Um, set the captives free. <laughs> <laughs> set the captives free. Yes. And, um, you could, I almost feel like set the captives free. <laughs> so with that, I want to introduce you to um, our next um, guest today, special guest today, um, and, and you guys can decide how you want to do that. But I have Miss Doctor. Benita Carter and Miss Rydell Mackey, who um, are um, launching today, set the captives free. But this is their their thing, so I'm going to let you guys come up here and say whatever you want to say about that. Okay. Thank you so much. It is really a blessing to be here, and I just thank Sally. and she's our <laughs> very first. Uh, person, a pastor, to say, hey, yeah, I definitely want to sign on. And so, Sally, we've been throwing your name around a lot. Good. You know, the other pastors in saying, mm -hmm. Sally over at uh, King of Thy Kingdom Come mm -hmm. is the first pastor that we have. But what set the captives free is really about is, uh, she said, my name is Benita Carter, and I've been working with women and girls who have been sex trafficked and prostituted now for over 30 years. And basically what God has put on my heart way back then was uh, to help women get out of that life. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't understand the big picture of it, the dynamics of it. So I'm the founder of a program called Breaking Free. Some of you may have heard of it. And Breaking Free has been around since 1996. And what we do is, uh, that's exactly what we do. We were the first program in the nation to provide uh, housing for women and girls, you know. And basically what they were able to do is to get their children back and, you know, from uh, child oh, protection yeah. services and, you know, just find jobs and get their lives together and realize that God sees them differently. And I said, I always tell the, the women that have came through the program that you're not what people have made you seem, you know, seem to be. You are a child of the living God. You know, yes. He knew us all before we came to this earth. He said he, he knew us before we were formed in our mother's womb. Yes. Amen. And I, I, I got to speak that into him. He's got a purpose. 
and a plan for your life. And it's not to be bought and sold. He loves you with an undying love. You know, so breaking free is still going on, and I, I call myself uh, being semi-retired from big breaking free. I'm like, uh, what was it, 2016, 17, one of the two. And, but God said, you know what, it's not over yet. So he just has, has really been broadening, I'll say, my horizons, allowing me to go all over the, pretty much the world and, and meet women from other countries. And, you know, this, this, it's the same all over, really. I mean, it is, I, it's a little worse than some other countries, but it's still about buying and selling women and girls, even boys and men. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not as, not as many, but they're out there too. And so God said, what I want you to do, because a lot of people may not realize this, but right now they're talking about legalizing or uh, fully decriminalizing prostitution okay. and uh, sex trafficking all over the United States. It's already legalized in Germany. And uh, there's a, and uh, where is, is that over in, uh, not London, the red light district is. Yeah, Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Yeah. Amsterdam. yeah. And so it is legalized in other parts of the world, you know, and I've uh, been able to go over there and see how that works. And I always say, what would the model in the United States look like? Who would we copy? Would it be Germany? Would it be Amsterdam? Would that be a model? We don't want any of it. We know yeah. what's going on in Nevada, but what would that say about us? We've already got a lot of crazy stuff happening in our country. So the last thing that we need is to legalize prostitution. Uh -huh. So anyway, God said, I want you to get out. He said, this is a church's problem. Yes. Believe it or not. The church got to, has a lot of things to deal with. But he said, this is something the church has not taken under their wing. That's right. And said, we're going to focus on this for a minute. We're not going to see it legalized. They were talking about this at our own state capitol. It didn't get fired, but who's to say it's not going to come back? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so anyway, he said the church, this is a problem for the church because mm -hmm. as uh, you know, Sally, there's a lot of women out there mm -hmm. that are in that life right now, you know what I mean? Not far from here, breaking free is only a few blocks from here, mm -hmm. you know? And so uh, it's our job. It's the church's job. This is something God wants mm -hmm. us to look at. Absolutely. He wants us to take this in the intercessory prayer and get serious about it. You know, mm -hmm. he wants us to help these women and these, these young people. Mm -hmm. that are involved. What's going to happen in the next 10, 15 years if they legalize prostitution? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, our babies mm -hmm. are going to be going and applying at brothels. You know what I mean? Because there's mm -hmm. going to be a brothel in every neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I just, I'm just telling you how I see it in my head because uh -huh. I've seen it already all over. And it's nothing nice. So God said this is something that he wants the pastors to stand for. Yeah. He wants the pastors to be able to say, this is not all right with me. Me yeah. and my church, we don't believe in this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so, uh, Pastor Sally, is, is, uh, what we've done is put together a pledge. And the pledge is just talking about, well, she's going to read it, actually. Mm -hmm. But the pledge is just saying that I said we stand for this. There is no more buying and selling mm -hmm. of our people, of our children, of our loved ones. You know, this is not what God sees. For, for us, for any of us. That's right. And so uh, I'm going to just get to that. And let Sally come up. If you'll read it, Sally. And um, Randella, I think I see she is going to uh, mm -hmm. record it. What, we're, what we have is we put together, our, we're in the works of a website. And uh, what we're believing in God for is thousands. I mean, thousands of pastors. And that thousand is really not a lot mm -hmm. in comparison to the number in the United States of pastors. Mm -hmm. But we're talking of pastors in you know, Mississippi and Texas and all over the country. And so we do have some other pastors that are going to sign on. But on our website, you're going to see uh, one area where the pastors are reading this pledge. And they're taking a stand. And they're saying, me and my church, no more. We're tired of this. So what I'm saying is that if I come to Sally and I say, hey, right now there's a meeting up at the state capitol. There will be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And she might be able to come up there and stand with me and Rydell and whoever else. And maybe she can. Maybe she says, but I'll pray for you. Mm -hmm. 
I'll get my congregation on it right now. We're going to intercede. We're going straight to the Father about that. So that's what this is all about. So I'm going to just ask Sally, if you will, to read this to your church. Okay. So that's, that's you. That's you. You're going to sign that. Okay. I, Sally Clark, in the presence of your house, Almighty God, do pledge to protect and defend all children of God who fall victim to enslavement through sex trafficking and prostitution. I pledge to stand my ground and never fall silent to those who wish to silence your words and laws. I pledge to make my voice heard <laughs> and, sorry, heard to any and all bodies of governments who both directly and indirectly enslave your people. I pledge your house will always be a safe haven for your children and I will shelter and protect them as you have done for me to the best of my ability. I will teach them your love and scriptures as they find shelter in this home of yours, Almighty God. With the covenant in this house, I pledge to uphold accountability and community reputation and your kingdom mentality. So help me God. Thank you so much. That Amen. 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 <laughs> um, if, if any of you want to sign after church service, mm -hmm. um, I just bought a piece of paper and we're going to put Thy Kingdom Come uh, congregation. Okay. And I'm telling you, if whatever goes on here in St. Paul, when you sign that, you're given permission that I can say, hey, yeah. we've got, you know, 10,000 signatures in Minnesota mm -hmm. from these congregations saying, don't do it. Yeah. We know your name, Senator. Mm -hmm. yeah. We know you. Yeah. You know? And so that's this is a good ammunition. Amen. This is what God is saying. We've got to put our foot down. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Good Lord. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. So, um, okay. Tell me, you're going to have to just, you know, correct me or something if I'm off in any way. But also, um, uh, you heard her saying, you know, like, we're pledging to agree to link shields with them. Okay, so whatever it is that they call the churches to do, that they that they, they reach out to the churches who are linking shields with them in this movement, in this or can I call yeah. organization. Mm -hmm. yeah. So whoever's linking shields with them, um, I'm sorry, I didn't say it's the Nita Carter Ministries. The Nita Carter Ministries mm -hmm. and the movement to set the captives free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is, can I say yeah. it that way? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, um, it's to uh, not just just attach our name yes. to this. It's, that, that doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. To okay. attach our name means nothing. It, it's, it's to be yes people. Yes. Yes. yes, what do you need? I want to be part of this. I want to be part of the answer. I want to be part of what comes against um, what comes against um, um, these people. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to be part of setting the captives free. Yeah. Okay? So we can we can just stand up here and say, oh, look at what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing by just, you know. But mm -hmm. but that, that, that doesn't mean anything. No. That doesn't mean nothing. Mm -hmm. But to be yes when the call comes. Lord. Okay? So I was going to get into that <laughs> in a little bit here. <laughs> A little bit ahead of, ahead of myself. Uh, so, um, so, 
this is this is what the uh, Lord has given me today to go along um, with Vanita Carter Ministry in this movement of setting the captives free in this area of, of helping uh, prostitution and, and helping them get out of the life and um, and everything that goes along with that. Yes, yeah. Okay, so. Um, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. That's his job. He, he, uh, there's a war for our souls, and his, he, he, he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But, but Christ comes to give life and life abundantly. To give, to give, not to, not to steal, not to um, take us out, but to, to, to give us life. <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. and um, he's he's there so to give life to to the living. Okay, um, that we may live life abundantly. Okay, so um, what he does is he when the devil comes to steal and kill and destroy from us, he comes he comes in and he redeems. Okay, um, I am not surprised. I, I am just like, you, if I can put this out there so you even have a clue of, of how excited I am about this, how, how just like, I just want to do a happy dance, like you have no <laughs> clue, okay, what I see God doing, because I see a bigger picture that you, you don't even know about. See, God will use us. In areas that the devil has, that he gained ground before, okay, because he's the redeemer. And so he'll use us in areas that the devil used to have, used to just wipe us out and take us out. And see, but once God comes in and we start walking in freedom, now he's, God's going to take what the devil meant for evil and he turns it around for good. Yeah. So he's going to use He's going to use us in areas where we used to be in bondage. Mm -hmm. See, now we're free from that bondage. Now we can take that freedom to others because yes. we understand because we were there. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Yes. So he's not going to use me in an area that I, I wasn't stuck in before. He's going to use me in, a, in an area that I understand what it's like to be free from. Yes. Okay? Yes. So here's, here's a story that not all of you know, and um, many online don't know, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put this out there, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, like, <laughs> there's many that do, but there's many, many that don't. So I'm just gonna um, speak to you as you're hearing it for the first time, okay? So the founder of Thy Kingdom Come World Ministry, he's back here on this wall right here in this picture, he passed away a year ago. Okay, Pastor Danny Barnes. For those of you who don't know who Pastor Danny Barnes um, is, not is, was, sorry, <laughs> who he was, okay, before Christ, Pastor Danny Barnes was a notorious sinner, <laughs> okay? He was also a notorious pimp in the Twin Cities here. He was a notorious pimp in Colorado. He was one of the highest, um, what's it called, revenue, revenue pimps, okay? So he prostituted many women, okay? He prostituted his own daughters, okay? So the devil was gaining ground there. He was, he was prosperous there, okay? But God. But God. So when Pastor Danny came to Christ and he was born again, those those things that the devil used against him, he was redeemed from, forgiven for. Okay, so he came out of that life, and God redeems everything. Amen. He re he redeems our lives. He restores relationships. He restores things. Whatever the devil meant for evil, God turns around for good. 
Okay? Amen. So, uh, when Pastor Danny was born again and redeemed, now he was took his freedom and, and his knowledge, and he started reaching out to people in the area that he used to be because he was forgiven. Now, he, he had to, uh, what's it called, uh, you know, uh, he went out and, and he, there's, one, there's a word I'm looking for right now, you know, confessed. He confessed those sins and now he was in a place where God could use him to speak to women, men, whoever in that area. You know, this is where it came from. This is what God did, and this is this is what um, this is the life that you can walk in now. So He could use that testimony. Okay. So, <laughs> so again, if you if you see what God's doing here, um, what Vanita Carter is doing in this area, you see, God's if God's using us now in this area through her. See, God restores and he redeems. And what we've been delivered from, see, now God's using. He says, link shields with her. See, he's not going to have me link shields with somebody in, let's say, that deals with gambling. Okay? I never had that problem. So, but he's using me in the area that, that I was set free from, that Pastor Daddy was set free from. Okay? So it makes perfect sense. Okay, so let's move on from Pastor Danny to, uh, to myself. I was never a prostitute. However, I was in the adult entertainment. Okay, and so, so God took, to, and I was born again and redeemed and taken out of that life. And I understand the dynamics of it. I understand how the devil um, how he comes to us, how he lies to us, how he deceives us, how he tells us um, uh, what tools he uses. The tools he uses is is he goes after he goes after worth. Okay, you're you know um, because what does this look like? Um, we look for love in all the wrong places. Okay, we. Um, um, we're hurt and we're broken, let's say, as child, as children. We're hurt and we're broken. And, um, see, the devil can, he can, he uses the same tools, but he relaxes it. And he, and he speaks to us in our language of, what, of however, whatever works, whatever works that we grab hold of that thing. Some of it is, is worth, okay? And and um, and if if I'm loved, if I'm loved, which you know they look at um, like sexual relationships as love, okay. And if if this person wants to be with me, I'm loved. There's my worth. There's my worth. Mm -hmm. But your worth does not come from man. It comes from God, your Creator. Your worth is only found in Him. So you're going to go from person to person to person to person looking for love and, and worth, and you're not going to find it. It's ne you're, That void will never, ever be filled. Never be filled. I don't care what they say. They can, they can, you know, they can say anything to you. How beautiful you are. How wonderful you are. How smart you are. Um, you're the, you know, just, I don't care what they say, but you're going to feel, you're going to be left empty. Mm -hmm. You're going to be left empty because you're separate from your creator, where your worth comes from, mm -hmm. where your identity comes from. Your identity mm -hmm. get, doesn't come from man. Mm -hmm. So, um, so, uh, so got back to God redeems. Okay. And, um, so the next thing is uh, something else a lot of people don't know. So take that, take Danny's story, you know, from this realm, from this uh, realm of, let me go back, okay, let me, I'm kind of skipping all over, but the devil uses certain 
tools, like I said. And, and perversion and twisting what God said was is pure, to be pure in what is what is intimacy, real intimacy. He the devil always takes whatever God did and he twists it and he perverts it. So he takes this pure thing that belongs um, to, to man and woman in, in intimacy and he's and he twists it and he perverts it. So um I was going somewhere with that. So, um, yeah. So, okay. So that that's that's the tool of, of twisting and perverting. Okay. So, um, I'm just gonna keep going. I, I know I had a certain thought line there, but I, I we kind of I lost it. So. Pastor Danny, in that area, redeemed. Pastor Sally, in that, in that realm, sexual perversion realm, redeemed. The next thing is, this building that we're literally in right now was a prostitution house for over 20 years. Do you see what God's doing here? Do you see? <laughs> this is not by chance. This, this is a big deal to me. Hallelujah. It's a really big deal to me because hmm. it, it's just an honor. It's an honor that, that <laughs> I'm sorry, but I know I'm just kidding. Because he, he's just so beautiful. Oh, he's yeah, so man. beautiful. That re redemption mm -hmm. and say, now now I can use you to help others. Yeah. It, it's, you know, those who know me know I just get, I just, I get so moved sometimes yeah. by his, um, just the way that um, he loves us and honors us in, in those yeah. ways, you know. So, uh, it's holy ground. yeah. It's holy ground here now. So, uh, so it's it's really an honor to be um, after after everything I just told you and those testimonies. Um, it's an honor to be uh, the 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 people that are that was chosen to to, to be say we're we're linking shields and launching this thing. Okay, Benita Carter Ministry set the captives free. Okay, and um, so uh, the next thing I want to move on to is um, being doers of the word, not just hearers only. Amen. So that's what I kind of started out with. But uh, so it matters. It matters nothing um, that, you know, you know, look at us. We're linking shields. That part, you know, it, it just doesn't mean anything. And yes, it might give them some some um, recognition or say, you know, this is what's going on. But way bigger than that, way bigger than that is that um, when I when I make that pledge, if you go back and listen to the pledge, we're pledging to say, yes, I'm linking shields with you. Yes, I'm going to do this thing. Yes, I'm going to answer the call, you know, to the best of my ability, okay? Um, so, um, so be doers of the word, not yes. just hearers only. Yes. So, um, when other churches, I, you know, I don't know, you know, who's all part of this, um, so far, or who's going to be part of this, who, if God puts it on your heart to reach out, um, reach out to me and I will connect you with, um, um, Benita and um, or Rydell, whoever <laughs> is taking care of that. But I will connect you if you're interested in, in saying, yes, I want to be part of this movement. Mm -hmm. So, um, so, but if you're, if you're a church who is or wants to be, when the time comes and, they, and you get that call and, and they say, hey, we have this thing, um, you know, 
Do you want to be part of it? Or this is what's going on. Be a yes person. And again, a, a, a best to your ability. Be a yes person. Say yes. Say yes. And um, uh, be the hands and feet of Jesus. Amen. Okay? To lead, you must serve. Okay? Otherwise, you're, you're, you're just, it's just dead works. You know? Hey, I'm part of this thing. I'm part of this thing. Well, how are you a part of it? When the call comes, are you a part of it? And, and so be the hands and feet of Jesus and serve. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
sex trafficked or prostituted. We think of them as being the victims, and, and these other people are, are just these horrible people, okay? But I want you to think about this for a moment. Uh, the same enemy that's coming after those women in their identity mm -hmm. is coming after the people who actually do the sex trafficking, mm -hmm. okay? So... Um, what do we need to do? <laughs> First of all, we start we start with prayer. Amen. Okay, let's let's lift up everybody who is under um, demonic control. Okay, so um, the same you know the same enemy that's after those women like 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 Pastor Danny. He was he was a person who prostituted people. But he had the same enemy working against his life to steal, kill, and destroy from him, okay, as the victims, okay? The perpetrator. The perpetrator is in bondage, okay? So let's remember that. Let's remember, you know, how, what can I also do on that side? Not just the victim side, mm -hmm. but on the perpetrator side. Yeah. Because anything outside of Christ is, is, is stealing, killing, and destroying. Yeah. Okay? There is... Uh, we do not fight against flesh and blood. But of powers and principalities. This, what I'm going to say right now, might be for the little bit more mature in Christ. But let me say it again. We do not fight against powers and principality. I'm sorry. We do not fight against flesh and blood, but of power and principalities. Okay? So... The there there's there's uh, the demonic realm, okay, and the there's um, so put on my seatbelt. So that which is against people, the the spirits that are resting on people, mm -hmm. uh, they're 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 called familiar spirits, okay. And like I said, this is a little bit little bit for the more mature. In Christ, but I'm putting it out there because you can do spiritual warfare for for on behalf of others, okay? And you can help them understand that they are actually uh, they're actually being held captive by demonic spirits, okay? So this is this is when you have um, let's say. You have a child who is molested, okay? So you have the perpetrator and you have the victim, okay? So here's what nobody wants to hear because it just, just doesn't, it just doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound good, but I promise you it's real, okay? So if, if you have a child who gets molested, Okay? There is a spirit resting on that child that was a familiar spirit with the perpetrator. Okay? And, and it goes back to their adversary. The adversary, I'll just put it out there. I'll just put it out there. When I was a child, <coughs> I was molested. Okay? Did I do something to ask for that? No, I did not. But I had a spirit resting on me. It was a familiar, perverted spirit. And the, the two spirits came together. They attracted each other. Okay? So, we... we uh, that's what I want you to understand. What comes against... People. It's a weapon formed against them that prospers without Christ. 
It's not, it's not a, it, those without Christ, it's not a choice. It's not a choice. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's the spirits that are ruling in them, mm -hmm. that, are, that are wreaking havoc on their lives. And that's why the good news is in Christ, in Christ, then that thing is put to death. Okay? Yes. And and what the Lord begins in us, he is faithful to complete. Yes. I know that was a little bit deep, okay? But it's spiritual warfare. Yes. It literally is, uh, it, it, we got a war for our soul, okay? Yes. And whatever, the, whatever tool the enemy uses, but it, we're just specifically talking today about... Um, uh, identity and worth and that sort of thing. And when it comes to identity and worth, the devil uses tools of, of sexual perversion mm -hmm. because he has twisted what purity is into, into, into he, he says that's love. Mm -hmm. And he twists it and he perverts it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, but in Christ, you really know your identity. You really know your worth. You really know what what you know pure what God intended <laughs> for for a man and a woman. Okay, that's the that's what is in line with God. That's the that's the purity of it, the plumb line of it. Okay, it's not twisted. It's not perverted. It's 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 God designed and it's perfect in every way. It's perfect. There's nothing that's that's not yeah. about it. There's nothing that's not perfect about it. So I'm going to finish this story about. I said what you know. As a child, this thing happened to me. I want to tell you the redemption, the redeeming side of that. As an adult, on the other side, when I was you know born again, redeemed. Um, this person, uh, you know, where, where that had happened to me as a child, you've got the per perpetrator and me as, as I was the victim, okay? So later, years down the road, as being born again and redeemed, he redeems all things, he restores all things, he renews all things, he reconciles. On that person's deathbed, I was able <coughs> to lead them to, to Christ. To be born again. I, for, I forgive you. And because of that forgiveness, he could see the G, he could see Jesus flowing through me. If if I could forgive him, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll take your Jesus. I'll take your Jesus. You know? So um it's a beautiful thing. Yes. You know, because the spirit of forgiveness mm. comes from God. Amen. Unforgiveness comes from the other guy. Yeah. Okay? So, um, mm. so we just, we lift up, um, oh, yeah, I want to say one more thing. Um, about uh, being a victim. Okay? Did I ask for that to happen? No, I didn't ask for it to happen. I was truly victimized. Okay. Um, another area the enemy uses to take us out, steal, kill, and destroy, is to, uh, uh, in that area of victimization, he wants you to believe that, were you victimized? Yes. But he wants you to believe that's a, that's a place where you reside. Okay? I, am, I was a victim. I'm a victim. I'm going to have residuals from this horrible thing that happened to me my whole life. I stayed in that place for most of my years. Most of my years until I got the truth that set me free. That victimization, I, I talked about it, I talked about it 
you know, about, uh, you know, what the, the, the effects, what it did to me. You know what I mean? I stayed in that place of the residuals of this horrible thing that happened to me. Okay? But, but in Christ, we go from victim to victor. Okay? Those things are under the blood, washed away. Okay? We, um, we do not stay in, in a place of, of, of fear. Let's say I could, I could have stayed in that place of fear of man forever. Or I could have stayed in that place of bitterness of man forever. You know, and just be like, yeah, whatever, you know, because just because you're a, just because you're a male, I, I don't like you. You know, I could have stayed in that, but not in Christ, not in Christ, because everything's under the blood is washed away. It's renewed, redeemed, restored, reconciled. It's done. It's a finished work. Okay. Those are enemy tools. Those aren't the spirit of God, the spirit of God forgives, it loves, it, 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 it doesn't stay broken, it doesn't stay victimized. You're a victor. You're a victor in Christ. Okay? So, amen. Amen? amen. <laughs> so, uh, but if you have, I don't, I don't want to be hard, like I don't want to be hard on you. If you're out there and you, and you have been in this broken place, Okay, I need to be gentle. <laughs> okay, I tend to be a little bit like this sometimes, and I, I think I people walk away feeling like, you know, well, man, yeah, but this but this thing happened to me, you know. You know, okay, I get it. Okay, I have to be gentle. There's 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 both sides of Christ. There's both sides of Christ. I'm just trying to help you. I'm trying to help you know that there is another side but I also know that we have to be gentle with the brokenness okay and to love you right where you're at that's what Jesus did he loved you right where you were at when I was in a thousand pieces he loved me right where I was at but when he started putting me back together you see you don't stay where you're at mm -hmm. <laughs> You're a new creation. The old Amen. man is dead. That brokenness doesn't belong to you. Amen. You are, <laughs> it doesn't belong to you in Christ. And I'm here to tell you today that God takes whatever was broken and he renews it. And I can stand here as a testimony and tell you that. Mm -hmm. There's... There's nothing that um, that still has me in chains or in, in any bondage from my past. Hallelujah. Okay? And, and, and God is very gentle and patient mm -hmm. as, we're, as we're growing. Mm -hmm. Okay? As you are growing, he's so patient and so gentle. And, you know, if you're walking it out, you just go boom and you fall down. <laughs> he just puts out his hand. So he can lift you up again, and you just keep walking. Mm -hmm. And um, you just stay with him. Just stay with him, and he's the one that brings the increase. Mm -hmm. And he'll bring you to that glory to glory. If it's faith to faith, that's your part. Just stay in faith with him, okay? Just stay in faith, and then you, you can watch the glory to glory to glory. If you turn away, that means you turned away from him. Mm -hmm. He didn't turn away from you. Amen. He's still there. He never leaves you, abandons you, nor forsakes you. But he does let you go. Okay? So if you stay with him, then you'll stay in that place where his presence just washes you, cleanses you, purifies you, and renews you, and raises you up. Amen. To new heights of Amen. glory. Amen. You're a victor, not a victim. Amen. Amen. In Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We thank you, Lord. Uh, we thank you for this day. We thank you uh, for Benita and Rydell and all yes. that they're doing, Lord God. I just pray that you bless them yes. bountifully yes. for their um 
for being um, being hands and feet, your hands and feet, for being yes people, yes. and um, saying yes to the Lord, yes Lord, send me. And Lord God, I just pray that you, uh, again, we're asking, Father God, that you just open up doors that no man can close, that close doors no man can open, Amen. that you uh, speak to people who can come alongside of them in this um, movement, Lord God. Yes. Yes. That you speak to them, that you prepare the soil, Lord God, that you, yes. um, if, they're, if they are somebody who can help in some way, that they say yes, yes. to you, yes. Lord God. So just thank you for this day and say bless everybody here in the mighty name of Jesus.